the opti temp uh, chiller. We have it set for 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're looking at the, uh, we have a load here with a uh, water heater in it. But just to see what the flow is at 65 PSI, what I did is I adjusted the, uh, I restricted the return flow. It turns out here it is a flow meter. And at 65 PSI, you see we have a uh, slightly over, a little bit over two gallons per minute. In order to test the load, what we did is we put a variable transformer on our water heater. I've had it running now for uh, roughly 10-15 minutes, so it's up at temp, it's up at heat. And what we'll look at is AC voltage across the resistor, or the load. And then we'll look at the current, using the current probe. So we got 106 volts AC and uh, 8.12 amps. It's roughly 180, 140 to 150 watts, which is roughly uh, 2,800 BTUs. And as you can see, we're maintaining the 55 degree Fahrenheit temperature. Take a quick look inside here, we just put the cover off here. Here's the reservoir here. Fill the system, what you need to do is just take the cap off and fill the reservoir. There's a float inside and you also have a thermal couple inside. So you need the temperature in the reservoir. You bypass valve here, you can adjust it. And here's your Procon pump. value now is 72 and a process value is uh, 54.8. You see the output one is off which means it's no longer cooling. So we'll raise to 72 and then you'll see the cooling turn back on. We're up at 72 and maintaining 72 barrels. 